morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for my first 12.5.5, the number's getting long, drive on Hardware 3. So, most of the OGs of the releases are now on Hardware 4, and so they've had this update out for a month now. And, of course, everyone else has been on 12.3.6. I'm really excited for you guys to have this, because I had already most of the biggest updates with 12.4.3. But uh, you guys are going to get a big surprise when you get this. It's going to be so much better. I'm certain. The hands-free driving just alone, just be able to like um, take your hands off the wheel and just look forward is incredible. Um, this is going to be our saluter route today. So we are uh, just doing a short, small town drive. Already, I've noticed that the speed on this road seems a little bit more conservative. Um, it thinks it's 25 mile an hour. It is really 45 mile per hour on this road. Uh, I wish they would just update the map data. This proves that they don't um, don't manually correct tester routes. Fred, looking at you. Shots fired. Because if they did. I've been testing for four years now, nearly four years, and they would have fixed the freaking speed limit on this road. And they have yet to do it. So, they obviously don't buy source tester routes. But um, we're gonna just go into town here. Like, if for some reason it's all going 38, I'm not pressing the pedal. I haven't touched anything since enabling. Uh, I suspect when this car comes up behind me, there's a truck and a trailer behind me. Imagine they're turning off, so maybe not. There's another couple cars coming up. I suspect it's going to make me speed up. I noticed that the other day, is that if a car starts tailgating you, my car wants to speed up, which is, you know, kind of human-like. But this is actually, this is really a, this is a regression. Like, it's never done, it's 35 mile an hour and a 45, like, it knows it's 45 now. I, if I just tap this all right at once, so it'll, it'll go faster. But for the sake of the video, we're trying to you know zero zero interventions, we're trying to see what the car can do on its own. This is the testing mode. I don't try not to override it. I'm a little bit more strict when I'm testing on my own uh, without making a video. And yeah, so it's it's I will disengage more frequently because I'm just like, okay, the car's not doing exactly what I would want it to do. So I, I, I make it do what I want it to do. Notice how it's speeding up. There's a, um, there's a car coming up behind me and it's speeding up. It's a little bit frustrating that it's still, it's now tailgating me, but for good reason. We're going six under and it still doesn't want to go. So this is for sure a regression. Uh, I, I had, wait a second, are we on, we are on chill mode. I wonder if that's why. Even on chill mode, though, it should at least go to the speed limit. So, I've tried to notice there seems to be a very slight, slight, slight difference between chill mode and average mode and assertive mode. And mostly it's on the highway when you go, um, when you do uh, uh, lane changes. Oh, and this car's coming behind me now. <laughs> okay. And now we're going fast. And it's cool zone. It, okay, let's make sure it's gonna slow down here because one lane road ahead. Do we have construction? Oh, and there's a police car. Okay. Thank goodness there's a curve right here. There's a police car sitting right there. Was like inches away from that signage. Definitely should have gave more room. Okay, I had I had to slightly tap the accelerator because um yeah I'm 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 not doing the awkward situation this morning. Uh, it probably would have made it just fine, so I had to do one tap on the accelerator. Why is it turn? Oh, that's not a disengagement. I always forget to because it, it doesn't want to route here correctly. So we're not, we're not counting that because of the nav point was right there. And 
and I had to tap the accelerator there because it started the brake for that guy thinking he was gonna run out in the road all of a sudden, of course. So that that's a regression. The last version um, really didn't do that. The previous versions would do that all the time. This seems to be slightly improved, a little bit smoother on this turn right here. See how it does on this turn. So it's already preparing the turn. That's a little bit new behavior. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and end our trip and have it route across the highway. See what direction it's gonna go. Yeah, it wants to turn right. It should turn left here. Like, it's quicker to go left, but it doesn't wanna do it for some reason. Okay, it stopped again for the blind turn right here, which is good. Let's see if it's gonna turn up this road. Hey, <laughs> look at there, I come fixed it. So if you're not familiar, the last update, it would just fly up that road. The nav was the nav was correct. It wanted to go this way, but it would just go turn off the complete wrong road. My window is fogging up. Oh, they changed the AC the controls now. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> um, That's frustrating because now I can't. I don't want to turn on the AC. You shouldn't need AC. 57 degrees outside. I don't know what. It... Open my window to defog it, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, there, that's working. Anyways, but yeah, so so far, so good. In terms of smoothness, I, I, I just gotta say, it doesn't feel any smoother than 12 that 4 that degree. Now, now this is going to be substantially smoother than 12.3.6 for you guys, but I really don't feel, it actually feels less smooth because you know, a break for that guy walking his dog, it was really hesitant around the construction workers, yeah, at least we got um, this car here, as the police car isn't sitting on this side, this is normally where, where they would sit. But he's sitting up on the other side. But yeah, this car's doing the right thing in front of me. It absolutely should be going 20 mile an hour in here. Because we're on a school day. See how it does with very bright sun. With a very dirty windshield. I had to turn off auto wipers yesterday. It was a clear sky, not a cloud in the sky. So yesterday or the day before Wednesday and um, it was dry wiping my windshield it wasn't trying to apply water or anything or a windshield washer fluid it was just dry wiping <laughs> and yeah so that still needs to be fixed Tesla you still need to fix your windshield wipers don't know if it's improved with this version obviously it hasn't I haven't done it this morning but um, yeah I just I don't know it seems to be besides the one that one change obviously that was fixed so it seems to be reading nav better which is to me is one of the biggest issues with poor map data is that it just doesn't navigate correctly and so perhaps this version is better at that in terms of overall smoothness and everything the gear is out and uh, today is Friday I will be doing more tests tomorrow my normal test routes if you have not seen those, I, I appreciate giving a subscribe. I, um, I have playlists of all these test routes, so if you want to compare almost every single previous version, you can do that. You just go watch them side by side. You'll be able to see, you know, how did 11.2 or whatever perform versus 12.5. 
and you can go all the way back to the version 8 I have on here. So, very old versions compared to these versions, it is it's staggering how, how much of a difference it is between those ver versions. Four years of progress, and I can't thank the Tesla AI team enough for this progress, especially on AI3, you know what we call it, hardware free, AI4, whatever you want to call it. It is pretty staggering the rate of progress um, they have done. The skeptics will just hate nonstop. Doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what Tesla does. There's always going to be haters. It's all they can't do it on hardware. Three, oh, blah blah blah. I'm like, prove them wrong, Tesla. Prove them wrong. Okay. Um, well, that was interesting. I'll have. I don't know. I'm I'm holding my thoughts until the next drive. And we'll. Uh, if you follow me on X, a link down below. We'll see tomorrow what that does. Oh, come on. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that in the video. This is because it, it got sun and it started to break. Put the flashers on. Okay, well, I'm just going to take over, guys. Well, that seems to be a regression. I know my windshield's dirty, but it's never done that. My windshield's normally pretty dirty, and it has never done that with bright sun before. So that seems to be a regression. Look out for that. <laughs> See you in the next video, guys. Bye.